the way I think of aging is, is it's the accumulation of various types of molecular and cellular damage in the body. And the mechanisms whereby these, um, these types of damage come into existence are very distinct. But saying they're distinct is one thing. They're not completely independent of each other. There is, if you like, crosstalk between them. So when you eliminate or repair one type of damage, one or two types of damage, there's a reasonable expectation that you will see knock-on effects, that you'll see benefits that go beyond the direct target of your intervention. Uh, we certainly see this in mice in a variety of ways, and that's why we have now a number of reports from various people in the community showing that repairing this or that type of damage, like, for example, removing senescent cells or um, re re rejuvenating the bone marrow, um, these things can um, have such widespread knock-on effects that you actually see an increase in lifespan. Um, of the mice in question, which means you're basically hitting everything that the mouse is in danger of dying of. Um, so my guess, my gut feeling, is that we won't see quite such widespread knock-on effects in humans as what we see in mice, but nevertheless, we should expect to see some. So, um, yeah, I mean, even though there are many different types of damage accumulating, the benefits that we may see from something that has the potential to have quite widespread knock-on effects, which partial reprogramming certainly does, um, you know, they could be quite, quite widespread.